So why would a guy pursue a relationship or want to date a woman from Ukraine? Luba, I put this question onto you. Recently, I was in a plane. Hello, John. And I met a guy. I met a guy there. Imagine. Mm, uh, and yeah. I love uh, like when people asking me what am I doing for uh, for a living, and I said I'm an international matchmaker, and his eyes become like oh so big. And uh, he was an American guy, and he asked me why would uh, your clients or like just men in general would prefer Ukrainian lady over Western woman? And um, like I got this question a lot, and so we decided to do this video and ask your opinion. Do you agree with us? Do you know? Do you have any other reasons? So, number one, why would the guy prefer Ukrainian woman? Well, I'll tell you this. So, number one is that they're just hotter, right? Let's tell it like it is. They're hotter. They're thinner. They're more beautiful. They have better genetics, possibly, than um, say other cultures. We'll say that if, if you prefer that type of woman, right? So. That's like people don't really other matchmakers. They don't like to say that. They like to say things like, "Well, they're you know traditional, traditional, you know, they're virgins and all that sort of whatever it is." All okay? of them. So in this video here, we're not going to talk about any of that stuff. Okay, they're not virgins. They're not uh, running through the wheat fields with flowers in their hair. They're not doing any of that stuff. They're not sitting out in the uh, in the in the snow in the village making borscht in a big pot, you know, for her man is who's been. Your fantasies are what. What are you talking about? Yes, that's what they want. Sorry, I laid that one out. Uh, so basically, at the end of the day, you know, they are hotter, they are better looking, but still, I think that there are some other points that we need to address. Not just saying, oh, they are hotter, so pursue the hottest woman, because that's never a, going to work. And it's first, like, it's probably something that caught attention of the guys. Like they, it's, it's a selling point. It, it's a selling point. No, it is. And, and, I'll, and I'll tell you, I, the last point that I've got on here is why Ukrainian? Why not like Moldova or why not any of these other um, Eastern European countries? Why Ukrainian? So I'll get to that point in the middle. So they are so they are hotter. That's why a man will push you a hotter, you know, possibly if he's lucky, if he does well, younger. The other one is that we're going to say here is that unlike our their Western counterparts, uh, they expect the man to lead in that relationship. They expect it. And if he doesn't, then she's not interested in him. She dries up and she's like, yeah, not for, not for me, thanks, it's actually, uh, buddy. Uh, it's actually a question, you know, like why a guy would prefer a Ukrainian lady would always, uh, it's coming from the guys that have no idea anything about this industry and about like matchmaking with the Slavic uh, ladies and from uh, ladies as well with my friend, within my friends uh, or just like ladies that I met because they don't understand why the guy from all over the world will, you know, from other parts of the world will come to meet a Ukrainian lady and and like honestly i see that most of the time i would like striker said that you know they're hotter okay this is like a first uh, uh, thing that the guys number pay one. attention but for me number one is because they allow and they want their man to lead the relationship they want the man like like we did 100 videos about opening the door and taking care but it's what they want they want to be behind the man and it's not again it's not just financial part it's just in general they want to feel safe with their man and i we did a recently video when i said that i think that there's it's incredible Combinations, Slavic culture, like Ukrainian ladies and Western men, with with their values uh, in uh, in yeah. family life. So for me, number one is like actually um, making them um, like allowing the ladies to to lead. Not the ladies to lead. Well, I mean, to guys allowing <laughs> allowing <laughs> ladies. Okay. Ladies okay. allowing their men to lead. Yeah. Okay. And also here, the man has to have that mindset, right? And usually, if a guy is, is pursuing. To you know, to date Ukrainian women, he kind of gets that already. Usually, because you know, the, our clients have watched their videos. We've now got a send, which is a course you can do, uh, and you can sign up for free down below if you want to do that as well to understand what Ukrainian women want in a man. You want to decode them, like I like yeah. how you put this word, decoding the woman. Yeah, uh, the, and the um, but not all men are like that, right? And we'll tell you one quick example is like we work with a um, another matchmaker in the United States, very very large matchmaker. And they, uh, one of their clients said, they said, well, why don't you try like a you know, Ukrainian woman? So I had the first date with the Ukrainian woman, but I knew nothing and it was shocking. Like it was absolutely shocking. Unfortunately, like this woman, you know, had a few problems with her microphone. Perfect opportunity for a man to just, you know, control the situation with her. 
but she's frustrated and flustered and he's frustrated and then he got angry and then he was like, ah, oh, you know, I waited 20, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of drama with it. And I said to Luba afterwards, like, he had every opportunity there to lead in that interaction so that she remained calm. He's there to fix the problem. He can help her get a microphone or whatever the problem was. There, but he didn't get it. He just became upset and frustrated and thought, oh, what a useless woman. So not every man can do this, right? And if you can, you are already and ahead. Want. And want. And want. It's in you. This is this is your calling as a man to lead in a relationship. For you, that's it, perfect, right? So the other one would be why would they prefer a uh, Ukrainian woman? Well, they're tired of what's happening in the West, mm -hmm. right? And, they, and they're looking for somewhere. And this is my experience. I was looking for somewhere. So I was actively looking. And when you're looking, you find stuff on the internet, you know? If you were to look at... Traditional type relationships. You can find whatever. different things on the internet. And you don't even need internet anymore. You can just use uh, AI to do everything for you. And so you, you will come across that and then you will look into it. Then you say, okay, well, maybe there is a possibility there that there is a culture that still respects the masculine and feminine roles in a relationship. And then I can be the man who wants uh, to lead. So, but in the West, that's so difficult. Like you guys out there, like who've been in bad relationships or who been through divorce, Think about the last like few years of your relationship. Now, I'm sure in many cases, if you look back and you're honest with yourself, there are things that you could have done better. I know that with me, for sure. But still, it's still such a struggle because there's this, there's this conflict of who's in charge here. And if she believes that she's not in charge because of the social conditioning or that she's like behind the man, well, then there's friction and she's trying to get ahead of the man and there's trying to be this, this equality battle, if we call it that which is just so difficult. And I just don't think a relationship for the long term can survive. And if it is gonna survive, the man has to go, okay, she's the boss. Why does your relationship work so well? Well, she's the boss. You know, you see these stupid uh, things Some guys, life. you know, they want it. Again, like it's not for everybody. Like dating uh, within the different cultures is not for everybody. It's mm. just for the guys who really understand what is the difference and what they want. Because the thing with the Ukrainian lady, she will never want to compete with a man. What I see on the West is yeah. like constant competition. No, like uh, he's the boss. I also need to be a boss. The ladies needs to take higher position. Ukrainian ladies, like honestly, um, yes, of course, there are some individuals that are very successful and she want to be CEO of the company and stuff. As soon as she has good salary, she doesn't care. Like she doesn't care what is the name of her profession. It doesn't really matter because unfortunately in Ukraine, everything is a little bit like upside down. Like she can be a lawyer and like your salary will be smaller than the girl who is making manicure, no matter how absurd and how stupid it sounds, but it will be like that. So a uh, Ukrainian lady will never, maybe it's another point, like she will never compete with you and trying to, uh, to, to be uh, not like better than you, but trying to mm. minimize like your achievements. Like she will be yeah. always there to support and to surprise. But again, not every man, like some guys has a very, very uh, feminine uh, trait uh, and they want, like they're basically looking for mama, you know? Like well, it has, to, it has to balance out. If, if, if she has masculine traits, he has to have feminine traits and it always has to balance out on the equilibrium. Yeah, but not like, not really with the ladies, like the ladies who are coming to the dating agency, they are usually more submissive, I would say, because yeah. they already make a first step to find a strong, independent guy. Yeah, well, they, they want to encourage that too. Like, she doesn't want she doesn't want to be with a man who's going to prove himself useless. Like, they, and believe me, there will be shit tests. Okay, um, and so you need to navigate those. Yeah, you need to navigate those shit tests. Uh, in fact, we actually talk about it in a scene, don't we? Yes. So sign up for a scene. You learn about the shit test and how to navigate it, because there's only one way to do it. Um, and our favorite one, strikers, is what? his invention. What? Like the last part. Well, why Ukrainians? Yeah, but why Ukrainians? Why are people so fixated on Ukrainians? Why not Moldovians? You know, why not Romanians or anything like that? The reason for this is, right, is because there's an industry that was started there. And the industry was started because it was not into the western part of, of Europe. Same with Russia, right? So there was Russian and there was Ukrainian. And, and there was a huge push for these large businesses, right? Massive, multi, multi hundred million dollar businesses. They're pushing a lot of advertising. They were building new technologies. Like the first letter writing was, was um, online letter writing, I think was your uh, company that you worked for. Um, another company there that was the first credit card processor. So he was the first one who, and he owned a date, he owned Anastasia date. He was the first credit card processor in Ukraine. Lucky for him. So now he's processing. Like this huge, huge industry there pushed Ukraine, right? And so that's why it became so popular. So when a man says, oh, I'm pursuing a Ukrainian woman, probably a lot of these traits are exactly the same in, say, Moldova, I would say. I mean, I haven't spent much time in Moldova at all. But as long as the country is, I hate to say the word relatively poor, I like to say lower socioeconomics, but as poor 
then they're gonna to look towards a man to lead because they need that man, right? They, they actually need him. It's not just, oh yeah, I'll, I'm in a relationship and yeah, I'll get rid of him if I don't need him, if I don't want him anymore. But if she actually needs the man, then the man is useful. And that's the whole thing. This is what we talk a lot about, about a man being useful, solve problems, et cetera, et cetera. But you also have to have enough money to sustain the woman that you are with. Now, I know a lot of guys think that all women are gold diggers with diamonds and jewelry on in Dubai at the Burj Khalifa, but that's not the case at all. But if you want to believe it, it's fine. Um, so that's why it's Ukrainian, but it could be found, I'm guessing, in other countries, as long as it's not, as long as the country has not been too infiltrated by the West. And I think that in some of those countries, probably Romania has been infiltrated by the West. I mean, it seems, it seems different when you hang it's out there than it does yeah. Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I think that, you know, I truly believe, I truly, truly believe, because I started uh, working like 14 years ago, but I do have uh, our partners who are working for 20 years, and they know that, like, honestly, that, like, 6, 10 years at the beginning, like, they made a significant difference, because I think that the real intentions of all of these big companies, and I still, like, I, I, I truly su support that, that it was uh, much better than what actually happened to all the scam industry, you know, letter writing, mm -hmm. and all this like money 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 because at the beginning it was a really truly uh, strong couples was created and mm. uh, the intentions were very good because um, I I, I um, support the idea that you know Ukrainian lady and or Slavic lady and uh, Western man is a very very good combination it was and it still is and uh, the most important I believe that you need to find the right place to find this woman either it's like a matchmaker or it's like you're doing it on your own um, it's a great opportunity it is working it is working very very well and uh, I think once person experienced that he would never go back uh, dating on the West yeah that, that's that's what we hear all all the time once yeah. you visit those countries I've got friends who like had nothing to do with um, going to Ukraine or mm -hmm. dating but when they went to other countries that were in that same area they were just like this is just a whole other world out there that they just had no idea that it was like that to date a woman you know that was down to earth that was sincere that that um, uh, was interested in the man you know so. yeah the way they speak the way they and like um, yeah it just it's just different so uh, don't hesitate to try it if you're thinking about that rather than believe in all the like negativity that you hear because the most <laughs> important is like to pick the right place it's like you know don't don't do it like by letter writing or anything that is uh, scammy and in a sense we also talk about that so sign up for a cent and we see you there see ya